I definitely put too much. A little goes a long way. I have a great year. I had a dream last night. Last night. Did everything I'm never doing in real life. I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet. Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away. Wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere? Hey guys, so I'm going to be taking you on a weekend in my life. This is going to be a very productive weekend, so I'm going to just be, it's going to be chatty, but the purpose is to like manifest my productivity, or I don't know, I just have a little faith in me right now because honestly the past few days have been pretty unproductive, like I don't know, I, I've been getting things done, but I feel myself like slipping if that makes sense like i'm feeling kind of lazy and i'm trying to like fight that because i don't know i also feel anxious when i don't get things done so yeah i don't know it's just not a good feeling when i've been slacking i don't know it's nice it's nice to feel accomplished and like i've done things so yeah um there's a lot of things i have to do such as wash my hair i am not making a to-do list i'm just i just know what i need to do so yeah i've actually realized that to-do lists stress me out so i'm gonna just try and not make one and just like look back at this vlog and see what i've actually done because i actually feel like that works better for me like i have tried one time not writing what i'm gonna do and instead writing after what i have accomplished because i don't know what it is but it's like if i know all the things i have to do it just looks so intimidating but if i just like take it one thing at a time i feel like i'm just more successful or i'm more likely to complete everything the first thing i have to do is deep condition my hair and i don't like doing this because i actually wash my hair first like i do my whole wash routine and then deep condition it and then wash it again so it's like going in the shower and then getting out of the shower and then going back in and i mean okay it's not that big of a deal but it's like a lot of steps yeah, my hair's been very dry and just not looking the best. So that's the first thing. And then I just have a lot to do. So I'll check back in with you guys after I do that. Okay, bye. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Step aside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back at your house. And I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake now. You keep missing. first thing I have to do today is something I've been avoiding doing which is look through my travel vlog footage so I can send it to an editor because I went on some trips that were like really fun but unfortunately I just don't have the time to edit them right now and I really want to get them out before it's like been too long you know so I should clear my desk I did clear my desk but she got messy again so can you guys see anything? <laughs> anyway, okay. And now I'm gonna do a time lapse and blur my screen because privacy. Privacy is important. Don't look at my password. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You are looking. why but like i think it's okay i think it's because i don't film with the intention of sending it to an editor so that's why i'm like self-conscious but i don't know what i'm gonna do but i feel like i just have to edit them myself because i'm too shy okay just a little hair update i like the cream for lunch i'm eating pasta I made this yesterday and it's really good and I think I did a good job. I think I did. 
I forgot I was vlogging today. It's almost 3 p.m. And the day has flown by. I'm honestly thinking of re-downloading Instagram because I really want to see what's on there. But I'm fighting the urge because I already relax a lot. I like, I'm watching a show on Netflix, which, sorry, that was gross. But I'm watching a show on Netflix. So that is like my relaxation. I don't need to be watching Netflix, YouTube, and going on social media. Like I'm trying to like only pick one because I just feel like I always am like distracting myself with things and I just don't think that's healthy because then when I have nothing going on, I'm like anxious. Like I think that's why I am so anxious when I like don't have my phone and it's like weird. So I'm trying to like fix that. I've been trying to increase my spice tolerance and sorry if you can hear my neighbor. I, I have been eating these because I'm trying to increase my spice tolerance, like I said. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and talk while it burns my mouth. Sorry, I'm like trying not to let it touch my lips. So I'm like, uh. ooh, my ears. <laughs> My throat kind of feels like spicy. The other day I was drinking water. I don't know why this just made me think of that, but like the whole water that was in my mouth went down my windpipe. So for like 30 seconds, I genuinely thought I was gonna die. And I Googled it and it's like aspiration or whatever, like when food or like water goes down your windpipe. And I think because of that, I've been very scared with spicy food because I'm like, what if spicy food went down my windpipe? I don't know. I think the reason that happened was because I had a big like drink of water. Ooh, it's hot. Can you guys remember when I first did this challenge? I couldn't even finish it. But now I feel like I'm handling it pretty well. So I feel like I've definitely like grown in my spice tolerance, I feel like, which is great. So this is, okay, uh, I feel like this might look crazy. Like, Zena, why would you wanna be in pain? But it's not like I wanna be in pain, okay? I watched a video about a guy talking about how nine to fives like suck or whatever, like they're not worth it anymore. And I kind of resonated with what he said about trying to have your own side gig that you can control because I feel like it is kind of nice to like have your own like business or like thing that you kind of like influence or control the income for. It can be kind of scary or not scary but like stressful to like depend on an employer but like okay i'm not against the nine to five but i think it can be kind of like a lot to just depend on one source of income and not like your job be your main source or i mean it will be your main source but like oh my god you guys i'm trying to like talk normally and i can't because it burns know that like is oversimplifying it because starting a business is like really hard and like no matter what you do it's like very hard work a lot of times more work than like a traditional nine to five so i feel like there are pros and cons to both sides like whether you choose to work a traditional job or start your business like there's pros and cons to both sides yeah, I don't think I'm gonna finish the noodles, you guys, and I'm so sorry that was a waste. And it doesn't it doesn't burn as much for anymore, so I'm gonna just drink my milk. I think I'm gonna watch an episode of Blacklist because I love that show. I love that show, you guys. It's my second time watching it, and I may or may not be attached to the characters. I had pasta, which was really good. I've really been liking C 
savory foods for breakfast lately, which has usually not the case. Like I feel like I usually like very sweet things for breakfast, but I just got a little heart attack because I tried opening my project in Final Cut Pro and it like would not open. And that's always very scary because like if you work on any kind of project, like not being able to open it is so scary. But yeah, I just had pasta for breakfast. Eggs have been making me feel kind of ill lately. So I'm just kind of like letting, I'm trusting my body, like it doesn't want eggs for some reason. So I'm not eating eggs for a little bit. So I just had pasta. But it's so good, you guys. The pasta I made yesterday, like I know it looks simple, but like I don't even know what it is exactly that made it taste so good. It tastes like pasta I had in Kyoto. If you watched my Kyoto vlog, that pasta I ate, like it tastes exactly like that. And it's like I made that, which is crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to learn how to cook. And so far, it's going pretty well, I would say. Anyway, I'm gonna just work a little, just like edit. I do wanna study today, so like that's the main goal, but like I do also wanna start editing my travel vlogs because they have been kind of weighing on me. So yeah, those two are like the only things I have to do today and I'm not gonna like expect myself to do, to do any more because I feel like once I start adding things, I like overwhelm myself and it's like just too much. So I'm just doing these two things, studying and editing a little bit, a little bit. So yeah, anyway, woo. I'm trying to eat these strawberries. I forgot them in my fridge. I always do this. I always get strawberries and put them in my fridge and they only last like one day or two days and then they start to rot. And I don't understand how, like why in the store they're like, they're fine in the store, but when I buy them, they rot. Is it normal for pimple to hurt? Yeah, I think today is just gonna be a chill day, like a chill study day. Like I'm probably gonna just like lay on my bed and study and yeah, that usually doesn't work. I think today it's gonna work because I'm well rested. So I don't think I'm gonna like fall asleep if I study on my bed, but I think it's, I don't know, today feels cozy. I don't know what it is, but I feel very cozy. Oh wait, oh. so the pasta I made was supposed to be like me meal prepping for the week or at least like a few days and I literally ate it all or I guess most of it because I have extra meat to like make more but like I had a giant pot of pasta that was supposed to like be my dinner for like the next three days or four days because I'm trying to meal prep so I don't eat out because I noticed that's why I eat out a lot is because I like I think I like intimidate myself sometimes with cooking especially when I'm hungry like you don't start cooking when you're hungry because you're you're like hungry and i think my mistake is like waiting till i'm hungry to like start cooking and so i'm just like i don't have time so then i eat out so anyway the point of me making that pasta was to like meal prep and i just ate it all so yeah i just think that's funny like so i'm gonna have to make more or just make something else <laughs> Sorry, the energy is kind of low this morning because I don't know. <laughs> it's Sunday, by the way. I'm rewashing my hair today because I don't like how it dried. Like, it just dried really frizzy. So, I'm rewashing it and I thought I would do a face mask because <laughs> my skin. There's like painful pimples, like pimples that hurt. I don't know why. I feel like putting on a face mask is like coloring. It's like art. I'm painting my face. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I don't think I have to put any on my mustache. I love wearing a face mask. I feel like it's just very funny. I look funny. I'm gonna 
lay down for a bit because I've been on the computer for like the whole day or all of the morning. So yeah, <laughs> wait, I look crazy. Hold up. I think I put too much. I definitely put too much. A little goes a long way. I have a gray hair, uh, but I don't care. I love it. I love my gray hairs. I love my gray hairs. You should cry an ocean for me For the dumb shit and the damage you've done I've been trying to read on my breaks instead of going on my phone I feel like when I go on my phone on my study breaks my head is very like distracted Like I just can't get back into deep work after I've been on my phone, like it takes like 10 minutes, I would say. I feel like when I start scrolling on my breaks, like I start to like what I'm seeing on my phone more than studying. So then studying kind of seems boring in comparison to like scrolling. So then I'm just not as focused when I'm studying because I just think like, oh, I just want to be on my phone, you know? So like, I just don't even go on my phone. Okay, I'm going to study again. hope this is sufficient camera setup but i've been helping someone with their bioinformatics homework they're learning r and i have like very little experience with r like i used it a teeny bit for a class i took and i really want to help them because they're like struggling this is the first time they've like ever seen r and they're like overwhelmed and i totally understand like i remember being overwhelmed learning any new programming language for the first time because there is it's hard like the first time you learn a language you're not just learning the language you're trying to understand like why like why is this matter like why is this information that i'm being told matter your brain is just kind of like going through it i don't know it's been a little exhausting i'm not gonna lie today i was supposed to script a video film it and also study i am spent but I told them that we have to take a break, so we're taking a break, and then I will call him back, but yeah. Yeah, no, it is fun because I, like I said, I don't have much experience with R either, so I feel like I'm learning. So it is fun, and again, like, I really want to help them because I don't want them to give up. Like, I feel like it's so easy when you're first starting out to, like, give up, but I don't want them to because it gets easier. It's yeah, I'm so gonna chill for a little bit i don't want to take a nap but i did get matcha i got it like bef right before they called and i barely drank any of it so that's probably the issue i probably need to finish my matcha like <laughs> tina come on wait where are my glasses my glasses this is me like 90 percent of the time where are my glasses where are my glasses yeah i'm first doing a plank for 60 seconds 60, 59, 58. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. That is hard. So I'm gonna just take a break. I'm not gonna lie, working out, working out that helped a little i have done it again i keep buying strawberries and forgetting to eat them they seem to go bad when i bring them home so i think i'm doing something to them to make them not last and i think it's the cold in my fridge okay i'm gonna do a taste test not bad 
can eat them. God made them for us, even if it's a little imperfect. So I think I'm just gonna stop buying strawberries because I do love them a lot, but clearly not enough if I always forget them in my fridge. Clearly, I don't love them enough if I let them rot. Ethiopian food. Okay, I'm sorry. My apartment's always so fucking messy. I just got a one terabyte one because um, I'm gonna try not. Go okay, so the other like SSDs I have are like very big. They're like five terabytes because I just have this like issue with like hoarding vlog footage. Like I just can't get myself to delete the footage. But I'm gonna start doing that because I can't just like I can't just have a million of these. Like I can't just keep buying them because they're kind of they're not cheap. So. I'm gonna be using this one terabyte one and like this hopefully is the last one I buy because I'm gonna start deleting vlog footage and just keeping it clean, you know? So yeah. Very excited. Remember when people used to do this?
So I don't love them. They honestly feel pretty cheap, but they were. <sighs> <laughs> I just really like black loose pants. I have like so many pairs. So cool. Next package. Oh it's it's a headscarf. I just got these black pajamas and the pants. <laughs> I just got speakers and <sighs> so much packaging. Oh, I think it's spilled. I'm not gonna actually open it, but it's hair oil. I'll put it right here. Castor oil. So I'm trying to take better care of my skin and hair, like my scalp, because they're like very dry and I usually just put like Vaseline and like a moisturizer I have in the shower, like after I shower. I've always had like really sensitive skin, so I feel like I've always just been kind of like not scared, but like my skin care is like very simple because. And I just got earplugs because I'm a very light sleeper. Like, I always wake up when I hear like the lightest sounds. So, I'm gonna see if these help. <sighs> Cocoa butter. I also got iron and vitamin B12. I've been feeling very like zombie ish lately, and I think I'm deficient in. I think I'm deficient in iron. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I am. Like, I have a history of being anemic, and so I like know the signs, and yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just gonna start taking this every day. I am already prescribed iron, I just kind of like stopped taking it, and I lost it. I lost the, I know this is like the same exact like dose and stuff, so yeah. And I just have heard great things about pizza. I think my vice is Uber Eats. I don't know what to do about this. So, how I justify eating out so much, especially recently, is that my life is very boring right now. Like, it's just very boring, and I feel like if this makes me happy, I'm gonna give it to myself, you know what I mean? Because, like, I really don't spend money on much. Like, I don't really too much. Sorry. <laughs> Let me be normal. But, like, I don't really do much right now so but anyway <laughs> sometimes i feel like uber eats is like burning money but like i have um like a ten dollar coupon i get every month from my credit card and it's march 1st so it, i had it and so it's a good deal i think to get fries and chicken nuggets delivered to me for $14 I feel like is a good deal because I live very far from a Chick-fil-A. So like if I went to get if I went there, it would probably cost me more. Like because I'd have to use the train and time wise, you know, they say time is money. So yeah, that's how I think that might be girl math, but sorry that I'm being quiet. I 
that's because my neighbors have been I already ranted about this earlier so I'm not gonna keep ranting about it but like they've just been quite terrible and I just don't want to be perceived right now if they can't hear me like I don't want to be heard I don't want to be perceived by them but anyway don't forget to spoil yourself you deserve it yeah Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>